um, do what we can. Obviously, a lot of it's virtual, you know, having to be, be smart about with COVID and everything, um, but to kind of connect with high schoolers, elementary school kids, uh, there's different organizations and stuff. Um, it's, you know, we've all been a high school football player, a middle school football player, whatever it is, um, you know, and it's, it's awesome to have kind of those role models and professional athletes uh, pour into, you know, the relationships in the community to kind of hopefully inspire and you know, share a couple good good words and um, connect with the, the teams and stuff. And we're having to adapt too. So um, just taking it, you know, one day at a time, trying to be smart, safe, and, um, you know, also trying to win and, uh, you know, compete the best of our abilities. We, we've had people pour into our lives over the years. So for us to take 30 minutes, an hour, whatever it is, and, you know, hopefully pour into someone else's life, uh, that, that's a blessing to be in that position. Um, and hopefully we can take advantage of that. Yes. separate journey so you know whatever it is just take advantage of that man everybody's everybody's journey looks different and that's that's awesome um so yep, take advantage of whatever path you're on anything is the way you do everything i got it right uh, and so you know it's just a quote about hey you know whether it's football whether it's school whether it's you know life at home with your siblings or your friends um you know the, the way the character you're carrying your, the hard work ethic you're carrying you know if you're if you're slacking in the weight room might be a guy that's slacking in school, but if you if you take every every moment, uh, you know, school, football, home life, whatever it is, and, you know, work as hard as you can. You know, there, nobody's going to stop you from being successful. That's you know, that's a common denominator across the board. These guys that are in the NFL, these guys that are successful businessmen, whatever it is, um, you know, they're, they're, you got to put in the work. Football has, has has taught me how to be a great father, a great husband, and a great son to my mother and to my father. Football has taught me all the core goals that you want to talk about to your kids about morality and how to be a good person. Football has shown me all those things. First Monday night game in Vegas and we won and I got to hit a 54-yard field goal to kind of put the game away in the last few minutes. And um, You know, moments like that are are just awesome. It's it's unbelievable, you know, how much work we've put in and then to finally kind of have that work come to fruition. I think the biggest thing is he has to think long term. It's all about a marathon because especially with the trend of the new generation, everything is a sprint. Everyone want to do things right now, right now. A guy made it all American, so they feel like they deserve to make all American. But I think it's a marathon. You have to think about the bigger picture. And the guys that are in front of you, you can learn from them. The things they do well, the things they don't do well. And you incorporate that to your game and you work towards being to that guy's level or even better. Most guys don't make it to the NFL. Most guys, it's some crazy statistic, like 0.02% of you know high school athletes make it to the NFL. It's tiny. So most guys, you know, you can use football as a tool to set you up for the rest of your life. And, and that's kind of how I viewed it going to college, going to Auburn. Um, I redshirted under a kicker. He's with the Cleveland Browns right now. So he, he was a great kicker in college. It was his senior year. I knew I was redshirting. Um, and I decided, hey, if I can if I can stay at school an extra year, I have five years to be at school right now, um, play football, I'm, I'm gonna use that to my advantage. And so what I did was I got my undergraduate in three years with marketing, business marketing. Awesome. 
Then I got my master's degree in business administration, my MBA. Um, and I just tried to take as much, you know, information and knowledge as I could. Maybe I'll be a social worker or something, like help kids that's in broken or bad homes that come from single parent homes, that come from tough backgrounds like me and pay it for it. Just like the people who helped me to get to where I am today. And um, <clears throat> yeah, that was my journey on the academic side with um, football and education. And like Daniel Safe, going through football, it can set you up to, you know, to a journey in life and help you in life in so many aspects and so many ways down the line that is is unimaginable. So for me, after football, I have made enough money and accumulated accumulated enough wealth to actually, you know, not go through an institution to be able to help kids. I can do it myself. Man, my wife can get out into these communities and build YMCAs, build daycares, build different, you know, project stop where, you know, we take the guys camping, fishing, teach them agriculture, teach them how to grow their own food, teach them computer coding. And that's some of my, you know, some of the guys I have around me that's gonna help me do those things when I retire at football.